What's up, everybody? Welcome to the latest edition of First Take. I know it's Thursday night, so that means Thursday night football. You're talking about the Ravens. You're talking about the Bengals. You know guys like Dan Orlovsky and Damian Woody, a.k.a. Big Poppy, the notorious B.I.G. That dude, along with Kimberly Mark. We got to say Kimberly. Can't just say Kim. Yeah, they'll be on the show, but I'm starting it off where it's supposed to start off. My man Wendy's in the house. Brian Wintour, basketball aficionado extraordinaire. Taking time out of his busy schedule to join Wah. I'm so touched. Hold on, Wendy. I need emotional right now for you to be up here this early for me. I really am. First takes in half. Let's roll. We'll stay 0 0 the first two minutes. And then look at Mike Thompson and Jay Daniels. What is going on with that? Wow. Jay McDaniels puts his hand on his jersey. Gobert had Clay in a headlock. Rain comes in there, a chokehold on Rudy Gobert. He didn't need to carry Rudy in a chokehold. That was, that was dangerous. Draymond has been ejected. Draymond Green has been suspended for five games as a result of this altercation. The league called. Draymond Green's headlock slash choke on Rudy Gobert, a dangerous maneuver on the court. The league again acknowledged Draymond Green's history going back a number of years. And I think the length of it surprises the Golden State Warriors. Five's in the reasonable range. The league is sending a message. They're tired of this. You got to lay down the law. And I hope that Draymond get the message and come back to being the Draymond that we all have fell in love with. Welcome to First Take. Molly Karam is out today again, so I'll be running the show. She's just fine. She'll be back in a few days. But right now, I got Brian Wintos right here with me. We've got Kimberly Martin, Dan Olofsky, and Damian Woody all joining the show pretty soon. But we begin in the association. Wendy, welcome to the show. The NBA has suspended Draymond Green for five games without pay for escalating an on-court altercation in Tuesday's game with the Minnesota Timberwolves. The league announced yesterday Green, one of three players ejected after a fight broke out two minutes into Tuesday's in-season tournament game. Woj weighed in on the league's decision. Listen up. The league called Draymond Green's uh, a headlock slash choke uh, on Rudy Gobert, a dangerous uh, maneuver on the court, but also the league again acknowledged Draymond Green's history uh, in these instances uh, going back a number of years uh, as a part of the severity of this five-game suspension. I think the length of it surprises the Golden State Warriors. I think it surprised many around the league. Uh, but five games for Draymond Green, uh, that'll cost him about seven hundred and seventy thousand uh, dollars in lost salary. This marks the fifth career suspension for Draymond Green in his first that spans multiple games. Green's first suspension came in the 2016 NBA Finals, kept him out of game five of that series. And we know how I felt about that. It was a stimulus package as far as I'm concerned, handed down by the NBA. Of course, the Golden State Warriors, a championship, Wendy, but I'll get to you right now. Did the NBA get this suspension right? Did, did they come down with this decision? Was it the right decision? So, yeah, so this was heavier than I thought it would be, Stephen. I was in agreement with what you said yesterday. I thought it would be multiple games, but I didn't think it would be this many. And the key, as Woj said there and what you've said, is that the qualifier that the league added, which was past behavior. Now, I'm going to take you back to the spring. You remember back in April when they were in that uh, tight playoff series against the Sacramento Kings. Yep. Draymond stepped or stomped or whatever you want on Demodest Sabonis. And you remember that, that that decision was a bit controversial. The idea that they would take him out of a playoff game for that move. But the reason they did it, and these were Joe Dumar's words. This was not something that was perceived. This was something that they said. They said, the reason you're getting suspended for this, Draymond, is because of your past actions. And basically what that now has become clear is that is a red line. Starting in that situation, Draymond Green now walks into every league discipline scenario carrying baggage. And he can complain about that, and the Warriors can complain about it, and he can look at individual circumstances. But that now appears to be the new standard going forward. Now I'm going to take you back a couple of days. That was uh, last week when Draymond got, got ejected in a game against the Cleveland Cavaliers where the referees went to the monitor and reviewed a hit that they didn't even call 
and decided to retroactively give him a technical foul. And he was up in arms about it after the game, and Steve Kerr was up in arms about it after the game. And I'm just saying to you, this is now the new reality for Draymond Green. The league has had enough. The referees have had enough. The league office has had enough. And they are now going to adjudicate him differently. Stephen A., this is the heaviest suspension for an in-game act in more than a decade. The league doesn't hand out multi-game suspensions for on-floor activity. And quite frankly, Adam Silver's NBA has been less, has been not as aggressive on in-game uh, you know, fouls. They have, you know, my mind, been a little bit soft. They've, they've let things go that would have been suspensions in past regimes or let things go with one game that would have been two. This is a totally against the grain. And this is the new world that Draymond Green better live in because he has now been ejected from 18 games in his career. He now has five suspensions. That doesn't even include when he got into it with Jordan Poole. The, the, the team didn't suspend him for that. So Draymond Green is now on notice. These last two suspensions are heavier because of his past behavior. The fact that this suspension comes from the league and specifically Joe Dumas should resonate profoundly. Yes, he was a member of the Bad Boy Pistons and all of that stuff. But remember, even with the Bad Boys and the reputation they had, Joe Dumas was always perceived as being class personified. People forget that. The Bad Boy Pistons, led by Isaiah Thomas, with the Bill Lambeers of the world, with the Rick Mahorns of the world, the Dennis Robbins of the world, the John Sallies and others. Joe Dumas was always considered class personified. That's number one. Number two, Draymond Green has a personal relationship with Joe Dumas. He knows him well. They've spoken often. He speaks very, very highly of Joe Dumas and vice versa. So the fact that that comes into play, that's point number two. Point number three was the warning that you pointed out that Joe Dumas handed down to Draymond Green last year when that incident happened with the bonus in the playoffs. He made sure that that was clear. I kind of felt iffy about that as well because his leg was being grabbed, the ankle was being grabbed, etc. So I understood, but I understood what Joe Dumas was saying. All of that taken into consideration, the warning was there. Here's where my issue comes in. When people want to point to 2016, LeBron James threw the man on the, on the floor, okay, and then stepped over him. What, what the hell did you expect him to do, okay? So he gets up, he pushes or, or shoves off LeBron James, they get in each other's face, and then they retroactively in, implemented a technical that ultimately led to him being suspended for game five of that series. They had one game four of that series. They were up 3-1 on Cleveland after beating Cleveland in Cleveland for that game four. They were going back to the Oracle for game five. I believe they would have closed Cleveland out, but it was a stimulus package. Everybody didn't want LeBron James going home too damn early. So you got that incident going on. I don't count Jordan Poole amongst this. That's an egregious act, no doubt about it. Draymond Green was wrong. You and I are covering the NBA for as long as we have. No, there's plenty of fights that have taken place in practice in the NBA. What you don't see is it getting caught on film because somebody on the team filmed it and dimed you out and put it out there for public consumption. You don't see that. But there's an, a team alive that hasn't had fights, and I'm talking fist fights, in the NBA. It's just that that was caught on camera. And obviously, Draymond felt bad because he knocked Jordan Poole out. So we got that issue. But I'm saying that shouldn't count against this. You want to count Steven Adams? Fine. You want to count Sabonis? Fine. It seems to me like they're using everything to point the finger at Draymond Green as being out of control. When the one thing about him that has been out of control is his chirping at the officials. That has been out of control his entire career. The stuff that they're talking about now, that is not something that we've seen all the time from him or anything like that. It was excessive. He held his hand, his arm around Rudy Gobert's neck entirely too long. I thought it warranted a two to three game suspension, not five. But I'm not going to lose sleep over five. I was just in staunch opposition to Jay Williams saying it should have been 10 games. I think that would have been extreme since no punches were thrown. Well, he's not a victim, just to be clear. I mean, he I has that. earned what he's gotten right. here. And there's right. a long tape of borderline plays. This wasn't borderline. But there's a long tape of borderline plays in his career. And, you know, I will be interested to hear what he says when he comes back because he has, he has sort of claimed that he has been unfairly treated in the past. Stephen A., the reason he got suspended in the 2016 finals, as is you, is you know and you just said, it wasn't for that hit. It was for the accumulation of the flagrant fouls. It was past behavior in that playoff that led to it.
So he really doesn't have any room to complain when it's really all been his actions that have led to this.